Hey guys, welcome back to my channel to another lipstick swatch video. If you're new here, welcome to the lipstick swatch family. If you're not, I thank you for your continued support. So today's video, it's not a holiday set, but it is a collaboration. And the collaboration is Safia Nagard and ColourPop. This is her Lux lipstick set. And for those of you who are not familiar with Sophia, she is a YouTuber, a YouTube sensation. She is a YouTuber who does really crazy science experiments. Uh, she is so into bats. And I think her favorite color is black. Um, she is just so fun to watch. I don't know if you saw her video where she melted all the lipsticks that she bought at Sephora and she called it the Frankenstein lipstick. It was a super fun video to watch and I just love her content. They're so informative and creative and she puts a lot of work into her content and it just it, it just keeps the viewers coming back and it makes me want to see what she's thinking of next. So I'm a huge fan of hers so I wanted to support her and this set comes with six lipsticks. I should open it for you guys. The packaging is also a very soft matte, which I like. And the back of it, if you haven't seen, lists all the shades in there as well. And look at the back, you can see it better now. That is so cool. This is so Sophia, she's all about bats. And this set is also perfect for Halloween. So it's actually a, a, a Halloween set, a Halloween collaboration, which is perfect for Sophia because like I said, she's into all the bats and wearing black. So it matches her really well. All right, so these are the six shades. They come in this shiny lipstick to you packaging with bat prints on the outside of the lipstick. So pretty cool, love the packaging, love the design. And enough of me babbling now, let's just jump right into the swatches. And let's just start with the first color here. This one is called Bikini Bottom. And this is the nudest shade from the set. Hand swatch for you. Here is the hand swatch for you. It's very nude and this one is a Prim finish. Actually, it's not it's not our bad nude color. And I can just use a darker lip liner. And I think it'll be popping. That's a pretty color actually. Some new lipsticks can wash you out, but this color, it doesn't do that to me. And I am very particular about my nude lipsticks. We all should be because it can either make or break your makeup look. And I think this is a really nude color. It works on my complexion and Safi is, is of a fair complexion, but it also looks good on me. And I think it'll look even better once I give it a little more dimension with some lip liner. So this one is actually good. I like how it looks and I like how it feels. So I am definitely satisfied with this color. Next shade up is called Mrs. Norris. This is also a creme finish. This is a gorgeous color. It's a beautiful brown, almost looks like a grayish brown. I wonder if I can find what the actual color is. If my phone would work. It's frozen. Um, yep, I was right. It's actually a gray, a grayish e brown, like a gray tabby cat. <laughs> So that's the description that they have on there, which I was absolutely right. Let's do our hand swatch. Ooh, that I like. This color, 
Wow. Oh my, that is beautiful. Listen, you know what? This color reminds me of Kat Von D's, uh, I forgot the name of it, but one of Kat Von D's color. I can't remember the name from Kat Von D, but it's very similar. Wow, guys. Wow, I love this color. This is so Sophia, this, this is her, and this color is beautiful. I don't even think I need a lip liner with this color. Look how beautiful that is. Uh, it doesn't make me look like a corpse. It's dark enough, but nude enough for my complexion. Like, it's, it's a weird, beautiful, odd color that I absolutely love. I can't get enough of this. This is different for me, but I like it. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. Give me a thumbs up if you think this lipstick is gorgeous because I really do like it. Next shade up is called Bury Me In Lipsticks. Another creme finish. Are all of them creme finishes? Oh, no, not all of them. Okay, so Berry Me, the name says it all. So this is a berry tone lipstick. Hand swatch coming up. Beautiful berry. So let's see what this is about. I love how comfortable this formula is. Colourpop's creme lipsticks. Listen. They are worth it. I know we complain about how they just pump out releases like every single minute, but I love their creme lipsticks. This is a beautiful fall color. So comfortable, so creamy little to no effort to put this on I like it it's not like it's not unique it's not like a unique color because we've seen a lot of berry tones not like Mrs. Norris that color is just I love that color but this is also great it's a great fall color and you can also wear this seasonally so it's not only designated to fall um, it's not a dark enough berry that I would say that you should solely wear it in the fall. I like it. It can work. I think it's a great color. Next shade up is called Fred. And Fred is a red color. It's more of a deep red as well. Oh, well, I was ready to put it on, but I need to do my hand swatch. So there is Fred. It's not like a fire engine red. It's a deep red. Which I am not mad at at all. Wow. What is this? This is also a creme finish. It feels like it. What is there to say about a red lipstick? You just can't turn it down. It's always going to be 
a classic. It's always going to be a power statement lip, a sexy lip. And I am getting all those vibes and feelings from this color and particularly with any red lipstick. But this feels great. Is it drying? Nope, none of them feel drying. So far, I've swatched all creme lipsticks and they feel absolutely comfortable on the lips. This doesn't feel like it's gonna slip and get on my teeth or anything. It feels really secured. And keep in mind that there is no lip liner on. So this is all applied freehand with no lip liner to lock it in. But I don't feel like it's gonna slip or move or do anything but stay on my lips. But that's all I can say. It's a beautiful red lipstick. The fifth shade is called Screamer, and Screamer is a matte finish. So this is the first matte that I'm swatching from the set. Right off the bat, it looks like a vampy ox blood color, but we'll see once I get this hand swatched going. And that is exactly what it is. Vampy looks can always be mysterious, sexy, you just never know. You can't ever tell. You just always got to be careful with these darker lipsticks because it can be a pain to try and get it perfect and of course if you make a mistake you can always go over it with concealer and that'll fix your problem but we're not doing that today so if it's not perfect just excuse me just give me a break hmm what do you guys think? You can't tell me vampy lipsticks aren't sexy. They're sexy and they're mysterious. And they just give you an overall vibe, you know? It's like... It's a really, it's a beautiful lipstick. It's moody, it's dark, it's interesting, it's mysterious. It's a great option for a black lipstick but give me a thumbs up if you guys think this is an awesome color because i think it is so my lips are starting to get a little bit stained but we just have one more lipstick to go this is a beautiful color though, and even though it's matte, it's not giving me that much problem to take it off. But it does leave a stain behind. So that is why you leave the darkest shades for last in the event that you do get a stain. Oh boy getting all over my face now so lastly but not leastly this is a very interesting color so I am looking forward to swatching this one actually uh, this is a matte and it's called Brucey so there are four cremes and two mattes Brucey is an interesting color it is let me take a guess i think it's like a might be like a mermaid green but i'm gonna see if i can find out what their description is um let me search it here nope i don't want to do that brucey here it is okay so it's a sultry no, it's not. Uh, 
my phone can be a little bit slow sometimes. So while that is loading, I am going to go ahead with the hand swatch. And yeah, like what I was thinking that it's a mermaid green. Okay, so this is described as a sharky blue green. Do you get blue green from that? Yeah, I do. I can see it. But oh, mermaid was a pretty close description, wasn't it? So far, I like it, oddly enough. Oddly enough, I am liking this lipstick. Is that weird? Isn't that a gorgeous color? Guys, I'm telling you, oddly enough, I find this lipstick pretty interesting in a beautiful kind of way. It's not gonna be like my everyday lipstick, obviously, but I feel like I would be comfortable sporting this. Thumbs up this video if you guys like this color, Brucey. Like I said, it's not an everyday lipstick, but it's a lipstick that I would still feel comfortable wearing because it's not like a yellow or, I don't know, some just weird color. I'm digging the blues and the greens in there. Like I said, it, it, it kind of reminds me of a mermaid for some reason. The color is uniquely attractive i think that's that's what i'm trying to say it's it's a statement lip but it can also be a cute lip depending on what you wear it with and that's what we have for the sophia and the ColourPop swatches i have to tell you i had so much fun with this collection the reason is the color variations are great. You have nudes, you have berries, and then you have this wild card color that just kind of put everything together. You can have so much fun with this collection and I think the way it was curated, it can actually complement a lot of skin tones because I feel like they worked pretty well for me. So chances are that if you have a lighter skin tone or a darker skin tone you can make these colors work for you they complement my skin tone really well and like I said you can have fun with it for those who are not into that bold of a color like Brucey uh, you have you have Mrs. Norris and you have Bikini Bottom these are gorgeous nude colors and you're they're kind of different. There's something so odd about the nude colors and this Bruce. They're unconventional colors. They're not traditionally beauty colors, but they're gorgeous. So, and that, I think this, I think this set really did reflect Sophia's personality and the colors of lipstick that she would wear. I think they did a great job with that. I think Sophia did a great job with that because I see these lipsticks and I think about her and I can see her in every single one of these lipsticks. So I think she really put hard work into these colors to actually reflect who she is as a person and what she's about. And I think they did a great job with that. So do I think this collection is worth it? Absolutely, it is worth your penny. But that's all I got for you guys. And if you like this video, make sure to go ahead and give me a big thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell because I don't know how else you're gonna know whenever I post a video. You're just gonna miss out on all my uploads. Plus, I will be having more holiday gift set swatches. So if you're interested in getting those for yourself or a family member, make sure you click that notification bell and subscribe and then you will never miss a video from me. I wanna thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you in my next swatch video. Bye.